What's up you guys? So today I'm gonna to tell you guys how to grow auto flowers from start to finish using Dr. Earth Dry Amendments. And what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna tell you guys what I'm gonna be doing with my ratios. Slight change in my ratios again. But this time it might actually be for the best actually so we'll kind of get into the ratios here in a moment but anyways i'm going to tell you guys how to grow auto flowers with dr earth dry amendments from start to finish and we're going to be mixing up the the soil i'm going to show you guys the equipment i'm going to be using i'm going to let you guys know pretty much everything you guys need to go know to grow your auto flowers start to finish when to top dress what to water pretty much everything so let's go ahead and start it off with the dry amendments themselves so right here we got the vegetable mix this is where your plant gets the calcium from this is the all-purpose this is where your plant gets the everything from this is your bloom this is where your plant gets mainly the phosphorus from okay blood or bud and bloom booster tough to say real fast anyways that's what all three that we're going to be using of the dr earth dry amendments now <clears throat> i have two containers over here that's what i'm going to be using to mix just to make sure everything's all exactly as it should be as i'm mixing up the soil and measuring out exactly the amount of dry amendments that we need now the amount of dry amendments that we need for pretty much anything when it comes to dr earth you need two tablespoons per gallon top dressing or amending the soil doesn't matter now here we're amending the soil what we're doing is we're building a life for our autoflowers so our autoflowers are all set and ready to go now when the autoflowers come up out of the soil they're pretty much on a timer they're going to go and they're going to flower when they want to flower and they're going to finish when they want to finish and there's really not much you can do to interfere with that or change that. That's the beautiful part about autoflowers. They're pretty much just, they come up and it's just game on, go from there. Uh, and you want to make sure that your plants are satisfied and happy and ha that they have all the nutrients that they possibly need in the soil waiting for them. Uh, so when they're ready to uptake it, they can uptake it and they can just continue on growing without any interference or any anything. They don't want to wait for their nutrients and they don't want to wait for you to figure things out. So with Dr. Earth, it pretty much takes all the guesswork out of it. So the ratios are going to change for the Dr. Earth a little bit different from what you guys are used to. Now, I'm sure some of you guys know of my ratios now. Um, I really haven't been adding any all-purpose in a really long time. It's been quite a few grow grows. Um, so like I said, the ratios are going to change. I'm kind of going old school. Now I've been reminiscing lately, kind of reminiscing back, you know, it's been over three years here on YouTube and kind of going back to my old ratios. Now that Dr. Earth has increased the calcium level here in their vegetable back up again, it kind of made me think maybe I should start trying some of my old ratios again and run with them for a little while. Um, so lately I've been out just searching for different ratios and you know, that's what any grower does. You know, I've been trying different ratios and lately it's pretty much eliminated all purpose. Now this new ratio is going to kind of shock you guys a little bit. So what we're going to do is we're going to do two different ratios and two different runs. Now we're going to do, uh, all completely different strains or all completely same strains. I'm, I'm sorry. They're going to be the same strains. Two of them are going to be the same strains. So we're going to have four plants. Two of, the, two of the same strains, you get that? So two plants, one strain, two plants, another strain. Uh, so that's what we're gonna do, different ratios. We're gonna kind of test things out just a little bit. We're not doing like old school, new school ratio type thing. Uh, I thought about that, we're not gonna do that. I think what we're gonna go ahead and do is kind of of my old school ratio and my brand new 2022 let's try this out ratio. Yeah, I guess that's a good way to put it. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to do two plants with one ratio and two plants with the other ratio. And they're going to be the same strains. So we can kind of monitor each, them and see how they grow, see how they look. They're all from the same breeder, uh, out of the same seed pack. So, yeah, kind of got a little science experiment. We're going to play around, play around a little bit. So let's talk about the ratios here. So the ratio, my old school ratio that we're going to be using for two of the plants, which will be grown inside the 4x4 tent, that ratio will be, now we're mixing two five gallon containers at the same time. Now with auto flowers, you wanna make sure that you're starting your auto flowers in the container you plan on finishing, finishing them in. Transplanting causes stress and auto flowers don't like stress. So my old school ratio, uh, is we're in five gallon pots mixing two five gallon pots at the same time. So two tablespoons per gallon. So just so that way the math doesn't throw you guys off here, okay? 
So my old school ratio was nine of the veg, three of the all purpose and eight of the bloom. So that's what we're gonna be using for two of the auto flowers in five gallon pots. So we're gonna be mixing that up here shortly. And then the other one, the brand new 2022, why not? Let's go ahead and run it ratio. So I've been kind of scratching my head. What should it be? It be? Well, we should not be where we're at now. We should try to something completely different. So let's try something a little bit different. It's kind of towards my old school ratio, but just slightly off from there. So what we're going to be using is eight of the veg, five of the all purpose, and seven of the bloom. Yeah. So we're going to try that out, see how that goes so the, for two more auto flowers. So we're going to be growing those ones in the three by three tent. So I'm like I said, I'll be showing you guys the equipment here shortly. Uh, so two of them in the three by three tent and two of them in the four by four tent under a different ratio. We'll keep them tagged so we know which ones are which. When it comes to final top dressing, uh, you know, we'll have to see how it goes, if they're flowering or not. We'll have to see when we get there. Um, it all really depends on the auto flower. Now, sometimes they start flowering between week three, week four. If so, if you're more like towards week four, then you're going to top dress at day 21. You always want to top dress at week three or day 21. So we would top dress at day 21, and then we would top dress again at day 42, and then that would be their final top dressing. That's if they were still vegging out at week four. But if they're already flowering by week three, week four, if they're already in the flowering, your final top dressing is at day 21, and that's it. So your final top dressing with Dr. Earth, the beautiful part is you, it can be any ratio you want it to be. It really doesn't matter. You just got to make sure one thing. They still got that calcium and they got that phosphorus. When it comes to autoflowers, that's pretty much the only two things that they really demand the most. And we got the in-between here. We're going to add some worm castings in there as well. Just to kind of give them that extra whole lot of microbial life in there as well. Get everything all juiced up and going. Makes everything all nice and happy. Now, in my past grows, I used to add compost. And I really wanted to add compost with this run. But unfortunately, I could not get a hold of compost in time for this run. So I am going to be adding compost teas. I'm going to be adding liquid seaweed. I'm also going to be adding molasses. Every about week to two weeks or so, I'm going to be kind of interchanging in between. And then I'm going to be watering in between with water from the tap, dechlorinated tap water, pH between 6.4 and 6.7. Now let's go ahead and talk about the soil here real quick. So the soil that we're going to be using is Royal Gold Tuper. Now this is a pretty much blank slate type soil. There's nothing in it except cocoa, perlite, and aged forest materials. There's no nutrients whatsoever in it at all for, for the plant. That's why we're building the soil, building the base, building life for our soil so the plant can uptake it when it wants, when it needs it. So that's what we're doing. We're building our soil for the plant. We're taking care of the soil, the plant's taking care of itself after that pretty much. Okay, now if you're using a soil that already has amendments in it, say Fox Farm, Happy Frog, you're going to want to skip this step. Skip everything I just told you. You're not going to be amending your soil at all. You're just going to be planting. Then at maybe week three, week four, then you'll be top dressing and then you'll go from there. And that's it. So in our case here, like I said, we're building it up. There's nothing in here at all. It's plain. It's as plain as, they, as it comes. Uh, so we're going to be adding the Dr. Earth amendments into it along with some worm castings and the ratio that I just told you guys. Let's go ahead and get started. So inside the tote here, I have nine and a half of the Royal Gold Tuper, nine and a half gallons. And to that, I'm going to add in my worm castings, about a half a gallon of worm castings. So I'm adding approximately about a quarter of a gallon of worm castings. So a roughly about a cup, cup and a half or so, give or take, of worm castings for each pot is what each pot is getting. So about nine and a half Royal Gold Tuper and then about a half a gallon of worm castings. Now, worm castings is great for moisture retention, holds on to some good moisture, a lot of microbial life in there, nitrogen uh, for your plants, uh, some, my, some other nutrients and stuff like that as well in there. Uh, it's really, really good stuff. Really, really good stuff. If you don't have worm castings, you can use compost. I used to use compost, and that's also really, really good at microbial life and 
extra nutrients and stuff like that for your plants. It really gives them that extra boost that you really want. Now, when you're mixing dry amendments, you want to make sure that you mix them thoroughly. You don't want you want to make sure you avoid any hot spots. And hot spots, what I mean by that is too much nutrients in one spot because it can burn the roots and hurt your plant. Uh, and with autoflowers, like I said, you want to avoid stress at all costs with autoflowers. They're on a the timer. They're going to start and they're going to finish when they want to. Now that we got all the pots filled up, nothing in the container, which is what we want. You want to make sure that you're measuring everything out correctly so you're feeding your plants as well as you can possibly be feeding them. Okay, so now that we got these two mixed up and set to the side, now remember this is our old school ratio here. Now we're going to do the newer type of ratio. I'm going to go ahead and mix that one up and then I'm going to let you guys know what type of strains we're going to be running. Now that we got our pots mixed up, we can go ahead and go over the strains and what we're going to do uh, with these pots here. And we're also going to, I'm going to be mixing up a couple more pots as well. So we'll go over that here in just a second. But let's, let's go over the strains that we're going to be running, the identical strains that we're going to be running. So up here, we got the old school ratio. Down here, we got the newer ratio. So what we're going to be doing is we're going to be running blueberry. And I know it's not focusing. And Afghan Kush. I don't know why it's not focusing. So blueberry and Afghan Kush from Fast Buds. So we're going to be doing Afghan Kush, Afghan Kush, blueberry, and blueberry from Fast Buds. So a little comparison, see if there's any difference between them as they kind of grow. Uh, same strains out of the same seed pack all that good stuff uh, I, I am going to be doing two more auto flowers as well so two of these are going to be going into the 3x3 tent most likely these two up here will be going into the 3x3 tent these two will be going into the 4x4 tent along with two other auto flowers so I'll be mixing those ones here up in just a moment um, and those strains are going to be chocolate mint OG it's been a while since we've done a chocolate mint OG. Been a minute, and I missed chocolate mint OG, so I had to get some more, some more of those ones. And Gorilla Cookies, also from Fast Buds. So picked up quite a few packs from Fast Buds, and it's been quite some time since I've run Fast Buds. So, like I said, kind of been reminiscing lately. Last time I ran Fast Buds was about three years ago. Uh, so it's been a very long time. Honestly, I don't even think I've ever ran any Fast Buds with dry amendments before i think the last time i had fast buds it was when i was doing the floor trio and um ever since then i just went on to other strains and never looked back at fast buds so here we are again it's been a while we're going to try the old school ratio we're going with some fast buds haven't run them in over three years uh yeah we're kind of reminiscing on this run here but all right you guys let me go ahead and I'm going to get the other two pots mixed up for the 4x4 tent. Then we're going to go inside, get these pots set up in there. And then we're going to go over the equipment that we're going to be using to grow these autoflowers.
So I got the other two pots mixed up, everything moved inside. So this is where we're gonna run the four auto flowers with the new ratio. We're gonna run them here inside the Mars Hydro four, four by four grow tent or two and one grow tent, uh, the four by four section of this grow tent, if you will. Uh, this is where we're gonna do the newer run of auto flowers. So here are the four. So we got the strains there. We got the blueberry there, Afghan there from Fast Buds, Gorilla Cookies there from Fast Buds, and then Chocolate Mint OG back there. Yeah, I can't wait to get that Chocolate Mint OG going. So anyways, let's go over here. Let's check out the other tent. So this is where we're gonna run the other two. This is the old school run, old school ratio of Dr. Earth. And we have our Afghan there. We got our blueberry there. Now when it comes to seed germination, completely up to you guys as to what you guys want to do when it comes to seed germination. Um, paper towel method, soaking method, direct in the soil method. For me, direct in the soil method usually works the best. Lately I've been kind of in between, so I've been kind of playing with some other ways. And uh, right now I'm currently trying to get my seeds to germinate. Once they do, I'll get them going. So hopefully by this weekend here, we'll have some uh, seedlings to talk about in both of the grow tents. Now once we get the seeds inside the soil, what we're going to do is maintain a decent temperature inside the tent. Between about 75 and 77 degrees is a decent temperature. Once we get a decent taproot going, and I do plant that seed, I'll try to maintain that temperature and uh, after a couple days we should get a seedling that pops up through the soil. After that it's officially day one and we're off into the races. Now I am going to be using a humidifier for this run. So I will be using a humidifier for both tents for this run. Um, to make sure that the humidity stays up for the seedling. So once they come up, you want the humidity to stay pretty high, at least around 60-70%. You want it up there for at least the first week, week and a half of the plant's life. Then you can kind of start to back it down just a little bit. Uh, so that's my plans. I really don't ever use a humidifier. I haven't in a long time, but you know, I'm kind of going old school with this grow. And I used to use humidifiers back in the day. So I'm going to actually pull one out and put one in and let it rip and um, make sure that these seedlings are all situated and all happy and good to go. So right now I'm going to go ahead and leave the light on even though that I plant the seed I'm going to leave the light on that will help increase the temperatures and keep the temperatures in range. Uh, even though that there's no seedling I'll still run the tent as is. So the light schedule that we're going to be running for these auto flowers 20 hours on 4 hours off. Exact same one Exact same thing for the other tent over here, the 4x4 tent. We're going to do uh, 20 hours on and 4 hours off. So let's go over the equipment that we're going to be using for this run. So for the two old school auto flowers, we're going to be using the Mars Hydro 3x3 grow tent. This grow tent here measures in at about 39 by 39 inches. Uh, so a little bit bigger than your standard 3x3 grow tent, but 3x3 grow tent nonetheless. So this one here from Mars Hydro. Uh, and the lighting that we're going to be using for this grow of the Mars Hydro FCE 4800, 480 watts from the wall. Fully dimmable, daisy chainable. Yeah, this thing's a this thing's a beautiful light. Infrared, UV, I absolutely love this light. I can't wait to get this going. Another run going underneath this light. Uh, the exhaust that we got going in here, the Mars Hydro 4 inch with carbon filter and digital thermostat yeah what a great setup this is you guys what a great setup all right let's check out what we're going to be running the other auto flowers with here so we got the mars hydro two-in-one grow tent so like i said this one here has this little side compartment here and uh you can veg out your plants in there so we'll be doing that at another time so we'll be utilizing that here very very soon uh but for right now we need to get these auto flowers going so we're uh, right now we're going to be running them in the 4x4 part of this and um, uh, the lighting that we're going to be using in here, the Mars Hydro FC 8000. This light here, 800 watts from the wall, Samsung LM301B diodes, fully dimmable, daisy chainable. Yeah, this thing is a beast of a light. I love this light. Perfect for a 4 foot by 4 foot grow tent and just does a fantastic job with everything it runs. Anyways, the exhaust that we are running in this tent here, the Mars Hydro 6-inch with carbon filter and digital thermostat. 
So both grow tents will be equipped with some fans. As you can see there, I do have a fan off to the side there. I will put another one here on the floor. As you see here in the other tent, we have one here on the floor, and then I do have one hanging. So pretty much just we need some air to be moving around here for our auto flowers. It's all that we need. Uh, a little bit of air movement in both tents. And that's it. That's all the equipment that I'll be using for this grow plus a humidifier. Uh, I'll be getting that out here shortly. And uh, that's it. But anyways, if you guys are interested in any of the grow equipment here that I have mentioned, there's a link down below. You guys can go check it out. Now, I also want to mention too that Mars Hydro is doing their Black Friday deals right now. And it's going on all month long. So over at MarsHydro.com and on Amazon.com uh, Mars slash Mars Hydro, you guys can get some awesome deals right now on all kinds of grow equipment. And they got daily, weekly deals going on, daily and weekly deals, uh, plus giveaways and stuff like that going on on their Instagram page. If you guys head over there and check them out over there, uh, awesome stuff going on right now. I love the holidays. It's a great time of the year. But all right, guys, I think that's it for me. Uh, that's it. That's how we're going to get these auto flowers going and running. These are the ratios that we're going to be running with. This is equipment that we're going to be using. Uh, pretty much everything you need to know. And uh, yeah, that's it for me, guys. Thank you guys for watching. And I'll see you guys on the next video. Have a good one.